Okay, Lewis, what's on the cover of the Mail on Sunday? The Mail on Sunday, uh, Rishi, illegal migrants will overwhelm UK as uh, he's uh, Rishi Sunak, who is our uh, Prime Minister. My we know that, Lewis. Okay, but maybe people don't know. Maybe. I mean, maybe we got a lot of people watching in America and they don't care what's going on in this country. But uh, he he says uh, he, was, he was in Italy speaking with uh, Giorgio Maloney, yes. who is considered to be a right-wing horrible person. Well, it's uh, interesting. She, you know, she's the uh, she's been elected. You know, the yeah. The, the, yeah. the brothers of Italy, and uh, it's interesting because that's the male's coverage uh, in the I yeah. News, which we also had a look at. Uh, they were talking about this is that he speaks at this far right event. They use the word far right, then hard right, then extreme right. It's like, yeah, we get the point. Yeah. You know, uh, but of course, this is the elected leader of Italy, and it, it, it's not actually that inappropriate for Rishi Sunak to give a speech there, is it? Well, no, and, and she's had a lot of experience of this herself lately. Yeah. I mean, they've got something in common, haven't they? Um, yes. 7,000 people at, at Lampedusa in one day um, was the, the example we always give, isn't it? That was. Uh, a bit of a challenge. Double the population in a day. So it's, it's it's a lot to deal with, isn't it? I mean, what's your take on this, Cresta? Do you think that I mean, a lot of people have actually been quite disappointed with Maloney in terms of the promises that she had made to deal with the migration issue, and none of them seem to have come to fruition. Well, it's very difficult, isn't it? I do feel for the people with this job. They keep having to give these five-point plans and uh, come up with great ideas for how to solve something very difficult. Yes. Um, it, it is tricky. Lewis, how would you do this? I mean, Rishi's sort of framing this as we've got to deal with the, well, the criminal gangs and, you know, their modus operandi, which works for them. And, yeah. you've, you know, you've even got sort of uh, certain g criminals and gangsters boasting about the fact that there's absolutely nothing that, that, that people can do. Maloney wants to send the migrants to Albania. Rishi wants to send them to Rwanda. Um, it feels a bit desperate, doesn't it? It feels desperate because they're not doing what needs to be done. It's very, you know, criminal gangs, like, like there'd be no... And there'd be no migrants if it weren't for criminal gangs. That has nothing to do with criminal gangs. Is, is they well, they're the ones who would bring in the small boats. They though, are, they? but they'll f they'll fig there'll be other people to figure out a way. It's a business. At the, it's a business. It's an illegal business. Yes. So there'll be more criminal gangs. He here is the most important thing. Hitler was elected. Okay, Mussolini was elected. Just because Maloney was elected, that doesn't make her not right wing. I mean, that's, that's yeah. quite a steer from what we but were Andrew's talking about. I know, but I had to right say... Cause my point was He's that, saying no. she's legitimate and she's not far right. Well, the, the, yeah, my, my point, Lewis, was simply that the, the media is continually branding people far right when I'm not com entirely convinced that they are. I agree. Because te but Team World wants no borders. Team World wants mass immigration. Team World wants this. What makes this story so ridiculous is... Illegal migrants will overwhelm the UK. Yeah. They're overwhelming the UK. It's already a done deal. The country is basically being destroyed from within by letting in hundreds of thousands of people who are so different from the core beliefs and have no desire to follow the core beliefs of the... But that's not necessarily entirely the case. I mean, there are people who are seeking asylum because they're coming from war-torn countries, and we should be, we should surely be welcoming those but people. But we know the numbers are too high, and where Lewis is right is that it's kind of funny to hear it from Rishi, isn't it? It, as if Rishi's suddenly going, guys, I think we might have an immigration problem. It's like, yes, yes. Rishi, we rather hoped you'd sort it out. Yeah. Well, Labour claim that they're going to be able to sort it out. Yes. I mean, it, but it's quite funny, isn't it, because the Conservative Party official Twitter account put out a meme talking about how Labour really like migrants coming in. But, yeah. of course, it's all happened under the Tories. So, yeah. you know, a little bit of introspection wouldn't go amiss. Well, it's, it makes you think, well, which side is, is Rishi on? Is he on our side? Is he on the side of the British people? The well, people he's our Prime watch? Minister, so one would hope so. You, you should hope so. You, the, the, you know... You, I you, think he is, Lewis, but just... No, maybe, I don't... Whether he's I doing a good job or not I, is arguable. We don't know. We do not know. Well, you think he's part of Team World, probably. Yeah, I think he's basically bought and paid for by Team World. Well, I don't think he cares... I still the, 